Hey, 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 everybody. James here from Mortisk Media, and we're back with another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. This one's going to be a quick one, just quickly showing you how to be able to easily remove the weapon from a Paragon asset within Unreal Engine 5. Now, this is the simple method. I will be doing another video with the more kind of complex method where you fully remove it from the mesh. Um, but I just wanted to do a quick video showing you guys how to be able to remove it just from view. So how we're going to do that is we're actually going to make a transparency material and apply this to just the weapon section. So how you do that is in any section of your content browser, you're just going to right click, click on material, and we're going to call this transparent. As always though, I'm having a difficulty typing. <laughs> so we're going to open this up. Now with the shader selected, go to the blend mode under material, switch it from opaque to translucent, and then right click, type in constant, and then click on constant right there. Drag it up, connect it to the opacity section, and voila, circle disappears, vanishes like magic. So we're gonna go ahead and just save that really quickly, minimize, and now what we're gonna do is apply this to our character. So if we go to our third person blueprints, BP third person character, and then what we're going to want to do is open up the content drawer. So I'm actually going to close these down and bring the content drawer up. And now if we look at, if we highlight the mesh here, let me look under the materials section, you'll actually see that we have Twin Blast Action Movie Pistol as a material under element 3. So what we can actually do is take this transparent material, drag and drop right over it. And then voila. No more guns. So if we compile and save, and I go ahead and click play really quickly, you'll see now we have no more guns attached to our character. And it does not create any issues as far as like interactions with things. I can actually go and just kind of like bump into things here, you know, kind of run around it. And, you know, there's no physics attached to the weapons, so they don't actually interact with the world. So it creates no problems. One thing to keep in mind, though, is that these do take up a lot of shader memory. So the more transparent materials you have in your scene, the heavier the load is going to be on your game. So don't use these too much, but you can use it a couple times and you would be just fine. But I hope this video was informative for you guys. I know this was a quick one. I just wanted to kind of give a quick video on showing you how to do this. So hope you guys enjoyed and as always, stay animated.